greetings the returning Croatian prisoners received were unbelievably emotional and moving. One by one, the pale men stepped from the buses, some to be enveloped by their relatives, others to wander through the crowd searching. The men who had endured Serbian prisons said conditions had been bad, bad food, beatings, some of their fellow prisoners killed. Most of the families with missing men had had no word from them or the Serb authorities. Their anxiety had only been heightened by the pictures and reports of the emaciated Muslim prisoners. The day had started four miles away at Nemet on the front line. The exchange organized by the Red Cross had been scheduled for 11 this morning. In fact, the first Croatian prisoners were returned shortly before four. Many Croatian soldiers were there waiting for their colleagues. Buses took Serbian civilian prisoners down to the exchange point. Then the first Croatians appeared pale but clearly thrilled to be nearly home. Once safely on the buses, they waved excitedly, giving the victory salute to everyone. On their way, they hoped to their loved ones. Many of these families are simply hoping that a husband or a brother or a nephew will turn up. The lists are incomplete. Until the names have actually been checked, no one will know who's returned, who's missing, and who's been killed. David Rose, ITN, Osijek, in Eastern Croatia.